I've had apple juice come in from Hendersonville, North Carolina, right above my house, down to this exact spot, and it was four hundred and like ninety-seven dollars for them to unload it because it shifted, and they had to restack it. So I was like, wow. So uh, my broker buddy from Sage Robinson said, hey man, if you just pay cash. What's going on? But T's and P's are looking over the uh, edge of the highway. Uh, there's no way. There's train tracks down there. It's not water. But oh, what happened? They're looking to the left side over here too. Must have been something. I don't know. It was thrown out of a car or something. The kind of debris that goes with a car. I don't know. They're looking for something. This doesn't make us late. We have about 25 minutes of uh, leeway for our appointment time. We're 135 miles out. Yeah, T's and P's for, looks like a, uh, is that a Nissan or a Buick? I don't know. Four plates though. spot and it was four hundred and like ninety seven dollars for them to unload it because it shifted and they had to restack it so I was like wow so uh, my broker buddy from Sage Robinson said hey man if you just pay cash um, I'll just I'll just add it to the Raycon so I said cool because they don't really have an after hours midnight express code person so one more thing if you're coming to this Aldi it'll try to take you to the front side of the, the address that it gives you um, you have to go to the back side as you can see right here it's Detour Road, so look for Detour Road and come off the back side, otherwise they will give you a little map and make you go to the back side, so might as well just go to it the first time. So we made it guys for like five minutes, it's 11.55 right now, so we are five minutes early, look at all those trucks lined up on the right, oh yeah, it is busy. 
It's always busy here. There's a refrigerated side, which is that, those trucks right there, all reefer. And then further down is a dry, dry side. And then, uh, oh yeah, we check our seal, turn our lights off for people. Check our seal and get us unloaded, but uh, they're pretty right on the money with two hours usually, unless you have something like that load shift where they will take, I think it took like six hours. They're not, they're not quick about it. So, um, but yeah, Lumper is paying somebody to unload your trailer. That's what it is. And typically you just, it's like a hundred to $200. Um, and it's just a calm check. They call it express code. Convoy, Uber Freight, uh, JB Hunt is okay about it. Like Convoy, Uber Freight are the easiest ones to deal with. TQ Wells, somewhat easy to deal with it. It's quite the process to call somebody on that one. But uh, CH Robinson is not really easy to do with, so bring some cash with you on those trips. If you, and you'll learn the places that take lumpers. It's always a grocery distribution place, usually. A lot of the other ones, like um, Costco, will never give you a lumper. They're, they're good about it, but the smaller distribution centers are always, uh, um, or not smaller, but I don't know how to explain it, but like Aldi, the food lines sometimes, stuff like that will have make you pay a, a lumper fee. So lumper fee, topic of this video, and we are about to pay one. This guy waiting for that guy. Well, all of his lights are off in his truck. I don't know why he would do that, but that's what he's doing. So hopefully he's not having any troubles. He can get it back in there. But we have to open our doors. It's your own preference if you want to slide your tandems, but our our load's really light, so we're not going to slide our tandems way right to the back. Um, and then you walk into the. I think it's uh, Capstone Logistics. Different companies for lumber services. Capstone, I forget the other big one, but that's Capstone's the main big one. And uh, give them your phone number, and then they'll tell you how much you owe. And then you go back in there and pay it, and then they'll start unloading your trailer. And then when they're done, they'll give you your bills back after they've like verified your comm check, or if you pay cash, it's verified right then. That is the process of lumpers. Someone, you pay to unload your trailer. 31, it should be down there. This is all reefer and we're dry. That's why we call it a dry van. All right, the guy finally got the doors. Had a little bit of trouble, but he got it. And we're gonna go past, right where this little extension of the building comes out on the other side, that's the door for the uh, lumber service, unless they've changed it. Probably not, though, it's probably the same one. There's a pretty good amount of room here to swing around. Got these two trucks on the left, which make it a little less roomy, but we can still do it. Let's just see where 31 is. That's not as busy on this side. A lot of open doors right there. Uh, it's 70, so we're gonna be on the other side. I hope we don't have to walk this far. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to, because the door's right there to the right, and 31's gonna be way down here. Maybe it's on the other side, even. Let's see. I've been here plenty of times, middle of the night, two in the morning. One time I was here until like eight in the morning because the, the lift uh, load had shifted. So we got a little walk after we dropped this trailer. No biggie though. Let's get unloaded, make some money for the family. And I think we're gonna head back to Haggai from here tomorrow afternoon and uh, get there later in the day. It's about a five and a half hour drive from here. Get that uh, oil changed. get those filters changed. You get two fuel, fuel filters and an oil filter. Uh, there's 39, so I'm right next to this. Kenworth should be 34. We're not, oh, nice, right in the middle. We could do a blind side, but I think we're just gonna pop it around, so we know where we're at. Go for third gear. 
swing it around. Nobody's behind us. That guy's going over there. Are we going to make it past the reefers? Come on, Kenworth. Do it. Do it. Turning radius. Got it. Ah, uh, you don't got it. All right. Back it up, Terry. So this day cap can get past me. Well, unless he's going for one of those trailers. I don't know what he's doing. What's he doing, day cap? Get out of your way, man. Gotta get back to open my doors. I don't know what you're doing. Dun, 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 dun. I think I do want to get aluminum wheels. It would look good. How are we doing, paper towels? Okay, 31. Okay, now we take a walk on the wild side. Bring this, bring a pen, because there'll be like one pen, and sometimes you'll be like eight guys standing around waiting for the same pen, so. You hear all those reefers working? Reefers are refrigerated units on the front of trailers. You hear them all humming, keeping stuff cold. And I'm, I haven't seen anybody walking, so I'm pretty sure I have to walk all the way around the building to that same door before. But I don't know if there's one over here. I don't remember. I don't think there is, though. I think you just have to take a walk on the wild side. So let's go check in. got a deal today only $90 and they have changed sometimes they don't have change they'll tell you you gotta get exact change they're like come on work with me so I had two 50s and they gave me back a 10 so that's awesome get back to our truck now and they're gonna call us when they're ready so uh, we'll get some shut eye and hopefully it's not too long the trucks coming from everywhere I got a guy in front of me a guy behind me it's like dodging everybody but if I didn't have cash I would have to go back call they tell me $90 you call back to whatever broker you're with like uber uh, but uber nowadays you just you tell them what the dollar amount is and uh, they'll text you a, a express code you write that express code at the bottom of the check you write who it's going to I, I didn't check I think that was capstone and um, then you go back in there they verify that number and then uh, they say okay go back to your truck and then they call you so it's just payment for these lumpers the broker will pay for it with a check express code or you can just pay, pay cash they'll give me a receipt when i go back keep that receipt that's the only way you're getting paid back by the broker um is having that receipt showing how much you paid so cool let's go back and get some shut eye and just like that three hours later we are ready to go he gave us a call and said hey go get your paperwork I said okay Good morning. The alarm just went off and uh, it's time to get back on the road. And a lot of you have asked what um, the hours of service are, like well, how many hours I can run, what uh, is a reset time, something like that. It's pretty simple. You can run 11 hours um, of driving per day. Well, you have to have a 30 minute break somewhere in there before eight hours of consistent driving. So, and then there's 14 hours total that you can be on the clock working. So, I hope that makes sense to somebody. And uh, then you have to have 10 hours consistent off to reset that clock and get 70 hours in a week. You can set it to 60 or 70. So, 
hope that helps with anybody, but we just reset that 10 hours, and now we can uh, get back on the road and head up to Haggai. We're going to be getting there pretty late, so hopefully we can get the overhead done if they don't have too much time at the end of the day to do it. I'll get up there and pop the valve cover off. If not, we'll have to wait till the next day, but we'll see what we got. In the meantime, we will turn our green APU off. And let's fire up this truck.